Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about one other type of buffers that is called the control buffer or tree state buffer. And usually I will start by its uh, simulation and by filling out its truth table. So here we have our tree state buffer and it has one input, one control signal and one output. This will be input A, this will be control Z, and this will be output Q. I will fill out our imp columns 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay, and uh, now we can see that if our input signal is 0 and our control signal is 0, then in the output we have some kind of x level here and this is because at this moment the output of this uh, tree state buffer is at a high impedance state and uh, it means that our input is not connected to the output and here we simply have some kind of floating voltage level so here we have to write x now in the next case as soon as we switch our controls from 0 to 1 or the, the output of this tree state buffer becomes from a high impedance state to a low impedance state and because of that now the input is connected to the to our output and because we have zero in our input we have a zero also in our output so we have to write here zero in the third case again our control signal is zero but our input signal is 1. And because our control signal again is 0, the output of this tree state buffer is at a high impedance state and our input is not connected to the output. So here we have to write x again. And in the last case we have 1 in our input and also 1 in our control, in our control input. And because of that again our the output of this uh, tree state buffer again is uh, at low impedance state and the current is flowing through this buffer and our input is connected to our output and in this case we have to write here one now i want to explain you in what kind of situations do we need those tree state buffers and uh, those tree state buffers we need we need in situations when we have multiple inputs and only one output. I will name these inputs A1 and A2. Now let's say that uh, we have three rooms and these what, what are these signals? These signals are signals from, from light sensors. If the light in that, that particular room is on then this sensor gives a logical one level but it, if it is off then it gives a logical zero level and we are in this third room where we have an LED light and uh, depending on the LED, LED light depending uh, on that is it off or is it on or is it off we want to check is the light in our first room on or off this will be our first room or is the light on or off in our second room this will be our second room and we are in the third room okay now if we would if we would uh, want to connect now these inputs directly to our output to, to our led light we couldn't connect them like this because first of all first of all we wouldn't know from which of these rooms the control signal is is, uh, is received and second uh, reason is that if one of these sensors would give a, a logical one level but the other one would give a logical zero then 
we we would short out our circuit because all the current from this uh, high logical level would flow to the low logical level and this in this kind of way we can damage our circuit so we can't connect these inputs directly to our output and this is the situation where where we can use these buffers i will add two of uh, those control buffers and okay first one second one and i will connect now the, i will connect them to our to our output to our led we will need also these control signals and this will be z1 and this will be z2 imagine that these control signals are in the same room in the third room in the same room where we are sitting but uh, because uh, the because uh, if i would drag these signals to to this place uh, our circuit would become a little bit messy i will leave them in in their their original places simply imagine that these control control signals uh, are th these controls are in the same room when where we are sitting now if we want to res uh, if we want to know is is the light on or off in our first room we have to switch this control from zero to one because now this signal is connected to our output if i uh, if i am switching this signal we can see that our output is switching accordingly to our input but uh, this input is not uh, doing anything but if we want to know uh, what what kind of information the second sensor is giving to us then we have to change this control signal from 0 to 1 and now we are receiving our information from this input and uh, this is well, th th this is a situation where where we need those three state buffers but i want to i want to discuss one more situation because for example if both of these control signals would be high again um, we can't allow this kind of uh, situation because if both of these uh, control signals are are at the logical one first of all again we we don't know from which of these sources we are receiving our information and the second thing is that if one of these input signals will be at logical one level and the other one will be at the logical zero again we will short out our circuit and we can damage we can damage our circuit in this kind of way so we can't allow this situation and i want to show you how we can how we can assure that uh, in the same moment we want uh, that uh, I want to show you, show you how we can assure that in the same moment we will we will receive information only from one of our sources and to accomplish this I will delete the second control signal and I will leave only one control signal and I will add another gate to our circuit. What I will do now, I will connect this control signal to our first three state buffer and I will connect the output of this NOT gate to our second three state buffer. And what is happening now? Now, if this control signal is 1, then the output of this three state buffer is at the low impedance state but the output of this three state buffer is at high, in, high impedance state because NAT gate is uh, inverting our signal and here we have zero but here we have one so in this moment we are saving our information from our first room from our first input but if I switch this control signal from 1 to 0, 
then this uh, this this buffer is at at a high impedance state, and this buffer is at low impedance state. So we are receiving our information now from the second room, and this is how using only one LED light, only one sensor, uh, uh, only one uh, output signal. Uh, this. Uh, only one output device how we're using only one output 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 device we can uh, we can uh, receive and read information from multiple inputs and uh, these kind of circuits of course uh, a little bit uh, complicated but uh, the, the the same idea we are using in a lot of electronical circuits and uh, I will talk also about, the, about these kind of situations uh, in future videos. Um, okay, I hope that you understood, uh, I, I hope that you understood the operation of these three state buffers and I hope that you understood in what kind of situations we, we are using them. Um, hope you liked this video, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!